Welcome to yet another episode of Major Mechanics Metal Detecting. For this video I went on four different trips alone with History Reviews Metal Detecting with Wardigger and with After Wardiggers. We had some absolutely stunning finds for sure. So sit back, relax and let me know what you think in the comments. Alright guys, welcome to a new episode of Major Mechanics Metal Detecting. Today I'm together with the guys from After Wardiggers. And uh, yeah. It's been, a, it's been a little bit rough, we spent a lot of time getting permission, but we got it eventually, thanks to the guys. And the uh, first beautiful find is in. Look at that. That is the backing of a US World War II para quick release from the 101st Airborne. Wow, that is amazing, guys. Incredible find. <laughs> Incredible yeah, find. Yeah. And, uh, and I also had the, the back piece. This is the back plate, which was it's a little uh, attached. bit bottom. Yeah, but it's very nice. There's some markings on it. Yeah, and there's some markings still yeah. on it, like a number. Wow, what a gorgeous, gorgeous find. Woohoo! Yay! Yay! Yay. <laughs> An absolute monster of a find for the guys. Can you imagine the 101st paratroopers dropping here? There wasn't an immediate threat, but they dropped into occupied territory to liberate the Netherlands during Operation Market Garden. Maddening if you think about that in the present day. Luck would have it that my mates actually found the front plate from the so-called Paraclock right after that. Really special find and location and an absolute privilege to be allowed to retrieve some history here. Yeah, well, I'm going home. <laughs> Next find is in. I'm going home. Next find is in. Look at this, guys. Another pressure plate from the quick release. This one is in, a, is in a better Way shape. Way better shape. Damn, I hope I can show you a picture. What a find. What a find, man. It looks like nothing at the moment, but trust me, it's awesome. It's gonna be amazing. <laughs> oh, yeah, guys. Just wanted to show you. Clean it a little bit. Turn to unlock. Really, really nice. You can see it. Damn. Oh, when it's cleaned, it's gonna be beautiful. Right, guys, today I'm together with Mr. Wardegger and Mr. History Reveals Metal Detecting. Has his own YouTube channel, so be sure to check him out. Link in the description and here below, uh, here above. And uh, yeah, first finds are in. We're in the Netherlands today. And as you can see, very, very beautiful buttons. We're on from Canada. Really gorgeous find, and one from the Dutch army, also in beautiful condition. So we're starting off pretty good, and uh, yeah, let's see what's next. And yet another cool find. It's actually a Webley pistol cleaning rod. It's huge, man, but it's definitely one. Copper. They use this to clean, uh, clean the gun, clean the barrel. Really cool, they would put, I think, a small cloth through this uh, hole there and then uh, clean out the gun. Really cool find. Woohoo! Alright guys, welcome to this part. Uh, I don't know how many parts this video is going to be. But uh, I'm together with the uh, History Reveals Metal Detecting. Nah, second time I hook up with him. Oh wow, that's a, that's a pretty bad language. Second time we go out together. Eh, uh, I'll take it. And uh, yeah, we're on a um, US drop zone. So from the 101st Airborne. He asked permission from the farmer. He said, yeah, it's okay. You don't find anything anymore. And he was dead stoked about that. But look at this guys, woohoo. Parachute buckle, wow. This is the piece I think that will uh, go inside the paraclock. Wow, I'll show you, but that is pretty amazing. I'm happy. Woohoo! Yeah, right, 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 right. So my mate also has one now. Look at that, guys. Just pulled it out. It's the same one. Awesome. So we're on the right spot. I'm really, really happy about that, that he also got one. Wow, what a beauties! Can you imagine? 101st Airborne Soldier jumping out, declipping this stuff, and going into battle. Wow, <laughs> amazing! Oh, yeah, guys, today I am alone, and uh, yeah, I'm on a German place. And 
first find of today is actually a lighter, which looks like a World War II lighter. And, uh, it's very uh, rusty and bunky, but I will clean it. Hopefully show ya. But that's a pretty nice find. First find. I found some Zeltbahn uh, can, uh, buttons. But uh, yeah, this is the first cool find. Woohoo! Just got an amazing signal. And I uh, normally don't film all the coins I find because I already have a few. But this is a great coin. This is actually a Danish 5 euro. And this is from 1941. Here you can see the king's uh, crown and the C and an X, which is uh, like a coral, uh, coral blah blah blah, called a tent, I think, of Denmark. It's a really, really awesome coin, and I love it. It's aluminum, aluminium, whatever. That's a great coin. Woohoo! All right, guys. Next find should be down there, and I think it's actually another cockish here. You can see the uh, the rim, the edge, and. Uh, yeah, let's get it out. I think it's uh, loose. Let's try to get it. Should be the cockishier lid or something. Let's get it out. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. Woohoo! It's a bit busted, but that's cool. Maybe it's even a, a different one. I don't know for sure. Maybe Italian or something. That is cool. Cockishier lid. Woohoo! <laughs> yes! Oh yes! 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 Finally my turn! Yes! Ah, oh, look at this guys! Woohoo! <laughs> Do you recognize it already? It's been on the channel a few times but not for me. Yes, sir. Yes. Yes, man. Oh, I'm so happy. This is a Panzerkopf. Panzer Totenkopf from the German army. German, uh, yeah, German army. Look at this. Oh, yes. <laughs> I'm so happy. Oh, it's been a long while. It's been a really long while. Woohoo. Yes. That was it again for this gorgeous, gorgeous episode of Major Carnix Metal Detecting. I hope you enjoyed and I hope you enjoyed the loads of finds we got this time. If you like, please uh, leave a thumbs up. If you don't, leave a thumbs down. That's how it works. Thanks for watching. Bye, bye.